All right, now we've seen how algebraic equation can be written. So far, we've used examples where it was kind of easy to guess what the value of the variable was. If we look at one of the equations we used, we have three plus x equals five. We can sort of intuit that x equals two because when we look at it, we just ask what plus three equals five. And we are dealing here with a small quantity that is quite common in everyday life. Let's now see how we can approach things so we can solve more complex equations. So you want to look at the equal sign as the middle point of a scale that is in equilibrium. And on each side, you will have quantities that have the same value. This is what keeps the two sides of the equation in equilibrium. So let's just write a super simple equation. The equation is in balance because on each side we have the same quantity, the same value. Now let's say we subtract 2 from the left side. The equation is no longer in equilibrium. The equal sign here is not true. For the equal sign to remain true, we have to do the exact same thing on the right side of the equation. All right, now again, the equation is in equilibrium. We have the exact same quantity on both sides because we started from 9 on both sides. And then we subtracted 2 on the left side and we also had to subtract 2 on the right side for the equation to remain equal. We can rewrite the same equation as follows. Let's go back to our earlier equation. What we want to do here is find the value of x. To do that, first, we want to have x alone by itself on one side. So how can we do that? Remember, both sides have to be in equilibrium. For x to be alone on the left side, what we have to do is remove 3, subtract 3, right? And meaning we would have to do the same on the other side. So let's start with the left side. On the left side, we have 3 plus x, and we're going to subtract 3. So then we are left with x only. And then on the right side, we need to do the exact same, the exact same change, meaning we have five and we also subtract three. All right, so the left side can be simplified into x and the right side, we have five minus three, which is two. And here we go. Our equation is solved, x equals two. This is a more rigorous way of finding the value of the variable. You can solve any similar equation by doing this. Let's take another example. Let's go with the first step, which is isolating x. So we want to remove this plus 27 here. So we have x by itself. So to remove plus 27, we apply the exact opposite operation, which is minus 27. On the left side, we started with x plus 27. We want to remove that 27, so we subtract it. And we have to do the exact same subtraction on the right side. So it's 62, to which we also subtract 27. On the left side, we are left just with x. And on the right side, we do the operation 62 minus 27, which gives us 35. And now we have solved for x. The value of x is 35. We can use the exact same approach if we have x minus something. Let's look at this equation. So again, we want x by itself. So we have to neutralize this minus 25. And we do that by applying the exact opposite operation, which is plus 25. And on the other side, we do the exact same. We also add 25, so both sides are in equilibrium. Now we have successfully left x by itself on one side. And on the other side, we calculate the result of this operation, and it gives us 36. 11 plus 25 is 36, which is the value of x in this equation. Congratulations, we just solved for x. Let's now look at the case where we have a multiplication. Let's try this. Remember, for multiplications, we can omit the multiplication sign here. So 23y means 23 times y. 
So we have to do the same again. We want to have y by itself on one side, meaning we need to neutralize this multiplication here. So this time 23, how do we neutralize it? We neutralize it by adding a divided by 23, which is the opposite operation on the same side. Let's do that. And now on the other side, we also need to apply the exact same operation, i.e. divide by 23. Now y is by itself on the left side, and on the right side, we do 115 divided by 23, which gives us 5. The value of y is 5. We have to solve for y. Let's do one more example. This time, our variable is divided by something. Here, p is divided by 7. So we need to neutralize this divided by 7. And how do we do that? Yes, we multiply by 7. So we have p divided by 7. And now we need to multiply this by 7 to neutralize this division. And on the other side, of course, we start with 11 that we also have to multiply by 7. Here we go. The manipulations we did on the left side have left p by itself. And on the right side, we just need to multiply 11 by 7, which gives us 77. And here again, we have solved for p. The value of p is 77.